Welcome to another exciting show of transformation. Prosper with Wayne, creating wealth, health, and happiness in your life. With your host, life and business coach, author, entrepreneur, and lover of life, Wayne Sutton. Prepare to become excited, expand your beliefs, and truly prosper in all the areas of your life. Enjoy. Hey guys, Wayne Sutton, prosperwithwayne.com. Thanks for being part of the show today. Today we're going to talk about client attraction or client creation or how to find people that pay you money. I love all the terminology out there, client attraction and client creation. And um, there's so many different ways of, of wording it that sounds uh, unique, that sounds like, hey, this ought to be a course, finding clients in three easy steps. And listen, it's really about finding people that will pay you money for the product or service that you have. So, let's talk about that. Your ideal client, a really today, yes, we can go, we could, we could, we can make an entire course on what an ideal client is, but I want you to think about that. Your ideal client, who are they? Where are they? What are they spending money on? Really, and it's not that we're going to have all of the answers today, but we really have to hone in on that. Who is your ideal client? Because until you know who they are, you have no hope. You have no chance of being able to bring those in. Recently, I was working with a client, and he was doing some advertising. He was doing it, he was in a network marketing business, and he was doing some advertising. And he was trying to attract a certain group of people. Now, the group of people were network marketers that had been involved in you know, network marketing in the past, or you know, they were different companies, and, and this is the product he was bringing, and this is the program he was bringing. And, and so he was just, hey, I'm just reaching networkers, you know, so, well, great, we could run an ad that says, attention network marketers. But really, how vague is that? Really, What is your unique selling proposition in that? Why would I talk to you? Okay, you're another one of 10,000 people that have emailed me, called me this week, or or mailed samples to my office telling me why I need to be part of your um, latest, greatest uh, marketing adventure. But why would I? See, to target me would be different. You would have to know who Wayne Sutton is. You'd have to know my criteria. You'd have to know where I spend money, what companies I choose to build, and why. And so when you can recognize that in me, you have a better chance of recruiting me. So what about your ideal client? If you're in network marketing, do, do you does your product mainly deal with women, mainly deal with men? Uh, you're looking network marketers that have had built huge downlines in the past, or are you looking for newbies that you, you that maybe they've never gone into network marketing at all, and you can you're able to approach them and and uh, lead them in, and, and there's no confusion. Are you looking people that have worked with certain companies in the past? Maybe they've been an Amway rep or Legal Shield, or maybe they've been in nutrition. They were with a nutritional company in the past. What is your ideal client? Now, the reason for this. The reason to grab a hold of this is not just so you can buy leads or advertise on Facebook towards that group. However, I hope you are doing that. But the main reason is to get into that person's world. Let me explain. You want to get into their world. If you want, if you want to get into the world of uh, someone that would purchase a Legal Shield program or that would promote a Legal Shield program, what did they look like? What does their world consist of? Why does a Legal Shield program attract them? And I'm going to go ahead and give you a key here because any Legal Shield prepaid legal reps on here, let me give you a key. One of the greatest ways, when I worked in prepaid legal, I found it very easy to attract the business minded person that had not accomplished what their dreams were. Let me explain. Maybe they had an associate, bachelor, master's degree. Maybe they had had a business or were working in a business. They were a manager or wanted to be a manager, but they had never achieved their goals fully. So here I came with Legal Shield, and what I said was, this is your opportunity to truly be the business person that you are, to let it come out and work with attorneys in all 50 states and work with the legal system Without going through eight or ten years of law school. Now, 
were they an attorney? Absolutely not. Could they uh, represent themselves as an attorney? I would hope they never did. But we were able to work with, you know, here in North Carolina, and this is years ago, it was Brown, Flabot, Wilson, and Horn. I didn't work for Brown, Flabot, Wilson, and Horn, but that was the law firm that actually uh, they they took care of all the clients in North Carolina. So it, for many people, they loved being associated with Legal Shield. They loved that they they had the <laughs> again they had the feel of an attorney. They had that importance, but they were not. But you know. Know what that was in their world that was getting in their world and amway somebody that's building amway is going to have a different in their world approach than somebody that's building the legal shield now you have your network marketing junkies that go from company to company because they're only looking at the pay plan or they're only looking at the excitement the hoorah the motivational meetings whatever it may be that's okay too if that's what you want maybe you want to recruit the one that's going to go to the convention take their week of vacation off work drag their kids with them to convention, grab, drag their wife, their ex-wife, the whole crew. And maybe that's because if that matches you, then great. Maybe you want to recruit more people like that. Get into their world. Get into their world. Again, and this is not just network marketing. I've gone on a tangent here about network marketing, but it's anything, anything. If you have a pizza shop, do you want to have pizza that goes to the retirees or do you want the teenagers? Do you want the college kids? Do you want delivery? Do you want an eat-in restaurant? Do you want to be the fine dining Italian restaurant and charge you know, higher prices? Or do you want to, hey, grab a slice of pizza for two bucks? What do you want? You have to get into the mind of your prospect. Ideally, the question is, who is my client? What do they look like? What do they talk like? Where do they spend money? And why do they spend money? It's not enough that they spend money on your product, but why? What is the underlying motivating factor? What is the underlying motivating factor? There's a there's two stores here in Wilmington, North Carolina that I I, made, I purchased blue jeans from. I won't mention the names here. One uh, I used to purchase because I really liked the way they made me feel. I'm just telling you, they were a high end product, and I just felt important doing it. I'm just I admit my vanity there. But now I found another one that's probably the cheapest in Wilmington, the cheapest blue jeans you can find. But guess what? I like them because they're affordable. Yeah, they're affordable. But I just like the way they look. I like the way they look better than the other ones. And I like the way they feel. I love that. So here's my thought process. If you wanted to sell me blue jeans, it's not about saying, hey, we had the most valuable, the highest priced. It may have been at one time. But for me now, it's about comfort. So that's me as a client for a pair of blue jeans. If you want to sell me an iPad, there's a whole new criteria. That's the point. You have to know the person's criteria. In generalization and a broad market, your clients, but then one-on-one. One-on-one. Someone said, Wayne, how many coaching clients do you have? I said, one. The one I'm speaking with today. And today, they're the only one that matters. That's it. How about you? How many clients do you have? How many customers do you have? And how many, how many fit a certain market that you need to delve into? You've, you must know your customer. Once you can design the ultimate customer, then you can really create or attract clients at will. This is Wayne Sutton. Prosper with Wayne. Have a great day. I look forward to hearing from you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us again at Prosper with Wayne. Be sure to subscribe to us for more exciting, life-changing episodes. Go today, in fact. Go now to prosperwithwayne.com and enter your email for our exclusive newsletter and other resources. God bless and go prosper.